There's no singing in our class. But we're not going to focus on what we can't do. We're going to focus on what we can do. This is just a simple strategy you can use to make music happy even though you may not be able to sing. And you say to the kids, for the next couple of months, we're going to have fun using our song. But you know what? We're going to do it different. We are going to do it with our voices muted. Look, I've got my speaker. And then here's my speaker muted. This is my mute button. Now, do you have a mute button on your body? Let's put a mute button on your body to tell your voice that it's time for us to mute. I think I might put my button here. Oh, you've got one on your neck. You've got one on your hand. Oh, good. Well, when we are doing our music, we're going to press our mute button first. And that means our voice has to be muted. But then we can do all the accents and we can sing with our bodies. And we can sing in our heads. But our voices have to be on mute. And then when we finish, we can hit the mute button again and we can speak and chat with each other again. So what I would do is I would just give someone the job. They could be the mute button person. <laughs> you can have it like this and they can just turn it over when we're ready to start the music or they can hold a little sign. But I do have a little sheet you can download from my website that has two different styles. What I would do then is I would just put up a song that they're familiar with because you want to do this first with a song that they're familiar with that has lots of actions. And this is one of my favorite songs to use with children. It's by Yancey and it has lots of actions. And so before we actually do the song, I want to talk them through the actions again. Remember it goes God, pointing out, God loves you and me. And we talk through the actions of the song and make sure that you use your body because you can't use the voice today, we're muting it, that you're going to be telling them that God loves you and me and you're going to point to a friend. And then we talk to the, the various parts of the song. And I have this poster on my website that you can download and there's even a little um, color sheet that goes with the song. And what I found when we did this this past week with my classes and then we had the mute button up and pressed it, it was great because the kids were just using their bodies and having such a good time with the song. And then at the end I said, okay everyone, let's unmute. And it was like, oh, everybody took a big deep breath. It was like they'd been holding their breath for the song, but it was just so beautiful because it brought so much joy even though we're not able to sing. The other thing that I have is I've put together a playlist of musical game ideas that you can use because you're not using your voice. One of the ideas that I have on there is a listen and move game, which works great. And I also have a story there where it's uh, set to music and the kids just listen and act it out. And there's musical chairs, there's freeze dance, all those course, sorts of things. So you still can use music without singing and just liven up your lessons and bring joy into your lessons. I hope this little idea has been helpful for you just to take what you can do and make the most of it because it's just different. Make it into a game with the mute button. The kids will love it. So if you like this idea, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more simple ideas like this, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, it's actually free, and you'll be notified whenever I put up another clip. Thanks so much for watching, and may God bless you as you teach the next generation about Jesus. Mm -hmm.